fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? Well, the Benghazi attack may negatively impact Hillary Clinton's potential run in 2016. And now shocking details about her involvement in the attack that killed four Americans revealed in a new book called The Benghazi Report, the review of the terrorist attacks on Benghazi, Libya. Joining us now is political strategist and author of The Benghazi Report, Roger Stone. Roger, nice to see you this Excellent morning. to be with you. Why did you decide to write this book? Well, I didn't really write the book so much as I took the U.S. Senate, the bipartisan U.S. Senate report of the Senate Intelligence Committee, and then write an outline of it in advance, so to kind of the cliff note version, so people can see dramatically that, uh, that these deaths could have been prevented, that there were adequate warnings, that the other uh, parts of our government, such as the CIA and Defense Intelligence, increased their defenses at their annex, but essentially Americans were left as sitting ducks, and that decision was made at the highest level of the State Department. What was the most stunning development in this report? When you got your hands on this Senate report, what, what stood out to you? There is nothing uh, related to this. There's nothing about this attack that is related to an Islamic video inciting people. The attack on our mission was a military coordinated style attack, and it was very clearly done by those uh, in concert with Al Qaeda. Uh, really, Fox News, I think, was on the forefront of breaking this immediately after uh, the attacks on our mission, and we still haven't been told the truth by by the uh, by the federal government. The connection to Al Qaeda is important. You remember the New York Times yes, a few indeed. months ago released their report, uh, an excerpts from a book on yeah. the ground reporting, as they said, that they found no connection to Al Qaeda. No, it's a, it's a, that is a slanted and partisan attack. In fact, people who were on the ground told Fox News on the following day. Uh, that uh, Ansar al-Sharia and his local militia, who are very clearly connected to al-Qaeda, were involved in this attack. And the, the, the really, what's reading between the lines and the recommendations, we may have armed those people. Did we ignore Ambassador Stevens? I want to put up this quote from your book, an excerpt from your book. It, uh, Ambassador Stevens made several requests for additional security resources. Clinton's State Department was filled with confusion over who ultimately was responsible and empowered to make decisions on both policy and security concerns. Were his concerns unmet? Yeah, I think he made several requests uh, because of the deteriorating situation in this part of Libya. A and it, it, it's not clear. They weren't ignored. They were denied at the highest level of the State Department. It's inconceivable. The number three man at the State Department would deny these requests. And, of course, we specifically called our facility a mission so it wouldn't have mandatory security requirements. Where just down the road, the CIA ascertained the threat and they beefed up security ascertain the threat. And that's the next quote I want to bring up because there, there was a deteriorating situation there, as you point out in this report. There was ample strategic warning that the security situation in eastern Libya was deteriorating and the U.S. facilities and personnel were at, the ri at risk in Benghazi. Clinton's incompetent management and ultra-layer bureaucracy ignored all the warnings. So you say this lays squarely on Hillary Clinton. There's no question. Hillary lied and people died. Uh, and it speaks directly to her judgment and whether she has the capability to be president. Uh, it's 450 days now. No one has been apprehended. No one has been arrested. Nobody is being prosecuted. Uh, the FBI is running an investigation. Fifteen people on the ground assisting that investigation have been murdered. We get no cooperation from the government that we installed. This is the manifestation of removing a U.S. ally, the, the Obama-Clinton policy, Gaddafi, who had given up his nuclear arms program, who had, was giving us intel, his intelligence on al-Qaeda. We were selling him weapons three weeks before we decided to chop his head off and create this unstable situation. Unbelievable. Roger, great to see you this morning. Great to be with you. Coming up.